Hi, I'm Kayla Jorgensen. I am a student at North Park University studying music and worship. When I was a freshman in high school, I, um, you know, you kind of make new friends, figure it out. There was a couple friends specifically that were like really close, I was really close with. And one was this girl from um, my freshman English class. And another was this guy who I think I, we had lunch together or something. So then we were friends for a while, like a year. We were like best friends before we started dating. And then we dated for about a year, a little over a year. Um, pretty seriously um, before we broke up and then decided that we would stay friends. We would try to stay friends because we were so good of friends before. It was like, how do we not have each other in our lives at all? And then throughout that time, he and my other best friend started talking a lot. Um, there was one time where we were all hanging out at their house. I was the last one to leave and I asked him, I was like, is there something going on between the two of you? Like, what, what is it that that's going on and he said uh, why does it matter like things are over between us and yes like there is like I like her and you're just gonna have to deal with it um, and I was like a wreck I was like what <laughs> because I was still trying to be friends with him and it was just like this hope that was like completely gone and I cried all the time like whenever I was alone I was like crying I remember like I would drive past her house and see his car outside and I would like scream in the car like so loud and just like let it I was like I started like losing weight noticeably like people were asking me like oh you look really skinny like are you okay and I like kind of had this sense of like who am I like I didn't even know I didn't know what kind of music I liked or like what kind of food I liked because everything was like shaped by this person that um, had been so important in my life and I never like during that time I never felt like I was like abandoned by God or anything but it was kind of like it's like you're in a room in a dark room and there's like just enough light under the door frame that that it's not too dark and your eyes can adjust to the darkness. So I like had just enough light in my life that I was like fooled that I was in this like dark place. I don't know, it was, uh, it was hard. I think about like being in a dark room and I think about like, it's, it's like you have to get yourself to the door to open the door. And it was that like moving through the dark <laughs> and and tripping and falling a lot of times, like falling over and like having to start again. And there was there was a lot of times that um, I was like, okay, I'm ready to forgive. I'm like ready to forgive. And it was this like, that day I was ready and the next day I was like, no way, not, no chance. Like that was terrible. And it was like this back and forth like thing that um, I think it uh, is kind of natural. Like when we're in a pit of some sort, we like you need momentum to get up the hill again because forgiveness isn't a feeling it's a decision that we make it took a lot of time for me to just take space away from them and away from the situation and really surrounding myself with people that like loved me and spoke truth i learned in it kind of um in that in the pit and in the darkness is is not to let people like should on your situation like don't let people tell you where you should be because like there's no set schedule for that and there's no time that your heart should be healed whether it's like a heartbreak or a tragedy or um it's losing someone you love like there's no set schedule for grieving and um, i think that was hard a lot of times is people would come in to the room and try to push me out and push me towards the door but like it, we're heavy in our pain like we're heavy and it's hard to get up and to push and like I'm the one who has to decide that I'm going to move towards the light but it was also important to have people there with me that was that were sitting in it and that were like giving me permission of sorts to feel the way that I felt and saying like that sucks like that really sucks and it's okay that you feel that way. And like patting me on the back in a, in a way, but not pushing me on the back, you know? I don't remember any moment where it was, I'm done with this, but the things that, that led up to it were mostly like taking space away from it um, and surrounding myself with truth. My favorite Bible, 
passage, scripture, verse. My favorite verse was um, Isaiah 9-2, and it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, and those walking in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. And so um, I learned a lot about, about that when I realized that, like, that word dawn and the phrase, um, the night is darkest just before the dawn, and that dawn is my middle name. And it was just like, okay. <laughs> a phrase and a thought that I went back to was that like, the dawn is coming or like the good is coming. And it's like, I, I knew in the back of my mind whether or not I believed it at the time, but I knew that there was resurrection and I knew that there was like redemption and restoration and that things would be good. After we graduated, we kind of like were able to talk again after we took a lot of space from trying to be friends. When we get through it, like, it changes who we are. I mean, without, without death, there isn't resurrection. And without the pain and the crying, there's no, like, rejoicing. And so I think that going through it and walking through it and taking the steps to stumble through the darkness and to, like, fall and it's hard. Um, I know that, like, it's not, like, you're not the only one. Like everyone deals with transitions and deals with pain and heartbreak in a lot of different ways. And I think that if we can find ourselves together in it, then um, we can help each other to stand up and to walk through.